Hello, hello, Aquarius, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today is July the 10th, and we are going to do a Friday little quick weekend read. Please, universal energy, spirit guides, and ancestors. I want to take a moment to say thank you to all the brand new subscribers, to everyone that has liked, shared, and commented. I appreciate it, and once again, thank you. Ooh, okay. I got way too many cards than I would like, but we're going to try to get through this, Aquarius, because when messages want to come out, listen, I can keep putting them back, and still they're going to try to come out. So, here we go. <clears throat> Aquarius, you start off the reading with the Queen of Cups. This is someone... I see you as a loving. You may be loving, caring. Keep in mind that the energies may be reversed, okay? Just don't take all the good parts. Uh, I see you here as stepping into your own where you are realizing that you would like to be a part of love, caring, family. You know, the queen of love, she's... she's She's very intuitive too. So Aquarius, some of you may have to be following, you know, some kind of intuition. Two of Wands. Listen, you are making plans. There is something here that you are planning. There is something here that you are going to bring, you know, bringing into fruition. You know, you are looking to be the emperor. The emperor is somebody who is powerful. You know, you may be, let me tell you, some of you are trying, because I, <laughs> the more I go into the messages, I keep getting messages, you know, the more I'm into the reading. Some of you are wanting to be something, but you're really somebody else. You're really an emperor. You're really, you know, the person that controls everything. This is, he is powerful. People follow his orders. He puts boundaries in place and people just follow. And I have a feeling that this is where you want to be. And I think that you're trying to come across as somebody who is not dominant. You know, loving, caring, not dominant. The Empress. For some of you, for those of you who are not having a child, this is nurturing your body. This is bringing a baby into into life. You know, this is giving a this is giving life to a baby. Okay? For a lot of you, if you are more or work oriented, you know, it might be that for some of you, you know, you're building a business. You're building something from nothing. You're building something from scratch. And this is what it means. It bring, it says, you know, the empress is somebody that puts something in her womb, just like a baby, and she nurtures it, whether it's a business, whether it's in a love, whether it's, you know, anything that she wants to bring into fruition, she nurtures it until completion, until fruition. I feel that a lot of you were carrying some burdens, some things that were just basically weighing you down. Listen, you don't need this. You don't need to carry burdens around. A lot of you are putting your burdens away. You are tired. You are exhausted. This is exhaustion. This is overextending yourself. This is saying, okay, no problem. Listen, I have, I can carry the 10 wands and you don't have to carry any. That's what it is. And if a lot of you are doing this, it is for a lot of you, you are putting down this BS. You also have the lovers. Listen, this situation is going to, I'm going to clarify the lovers at, you know, toward the end. I'm going to clarify most of the cards. But I feel that for a lot of you, you are looking, I feel that you're looking for someone. You're trying to find the person that matches you. Look at the way you are looking into the mirror and you're seeing yourself however it's somebody else. So for a lot of you, you are trying to bring forward that, that soulmate, that person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. 
we're gonna clarify please stay till the end i do have an oracle for you it's a very short oracle so please universal energies okay strength listen a lot of you <laughs> are needing a lot of strength listen i just feel that for some of you you want somebody to see you in a different light and it's taking a lot of you because this is not really the way that you are you know you're a little bit more emperorish <laughs> emperor style and you know i feel that for some of you listen for some of you this could be that you are looking for that emperor you know wanting to have a child with him but then again you have burdens here so why there's something that's taking you some some strength to to release and, and look at how i say this to release and look at what pops out the two of swords this is not being able to make a decision this is not being able to let something go and i'm gonna let you know right now that if you do not let this go listen for some of you if if there's arguments and fighting and things like that and burdens Listen, this is never going to get to the nine of cups. You don't get to a place that is happy and fulfilled by putting down your burdens. Listen, I know that some of you will disagree with me and say, you know, a marriage is till the end. You know, um, there are lessons that you learn through the marriages. And sometimes you have to fucking walk away. Even if it's the worst is that it's worse. You need to walk away. You know, it's happened to me. I know. Listen, walking away and here pops the fucking chariot. Okay, a lot of you are leaving this behind. You know, a lot of you are leaving this behind because this is taking too much strength to show some. This is what I feel to show somebody that you're somebody else. That's what I feel. I'm sorry, I can't even try to make up anything else, <laughs> you know. Um, the stars. Listen, a lot of you are going to be healing. You're going to be recovering. You're going to be growing. You are going to be balancing out your life, wishing upon the stars for the things that you want in your life. And let me tell you, somebody's le you're leaving this equation, this equation had you stuck in a pickle for a while. You know, you had to pretend to be somebody that you were not. This is what I keep picking up. And it's, it's too much of a burden. You know, and I hope that this person, I hope that, that this is you, you know. Let me clarify that before I open up my mouth. Why is the Empress here? All right, listen. Some of you are spying on somebody, okay? I don't know who's spying on somebody, but there's... You are spying and looking towards someone. You're a little stressed out that this person may, may discover some truth. I need another clarifier. Oh, shoot, so many. <clears throat> Please, universal energies. One more clarifier for the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Why is he? Okay, listen. Somebody is being sneaky, okay? Somebody's being sneaky here. I'm going to tell you right now. Be, be very careful that somebody is not being sneaky about a pregnancy, okay? You also have here the king, the king of cups. This is somebody who's loving and caring. So now there's four people in this reading. And there's sneaky behavior here. And somebody is spying on something. They're trying to find out what the truth is. Oh, the devil. Okay, listen. With the devil, okay, you get a prince of cups and the princess of cups. A lot of you are being very dreamerish, or this could be somebody else, the other person that you are dealing with. This could be somebody who is younger than you, okay, because the emperor is a fatherly figure. So this little girl comes up, you know, as, 
as a younger person. She is only like a page or a knight, you know, both of these. And, you know, these the, she is dreaming, waiting for some, you know, good news to come in for her. And listen, for a lot of you, I'm going to tell you right now, be aware. Be aware because this person is going to run your life. This person comes in with a demonic energy. Okay, this is going to be something that you will burn in hell for. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying really burn in hell. I'm just saying this is a situation that will bring you a lot of fucking problems. Okay, if you don't detach from this energy, this energy will run your damn life. Why is the lovers here? This is why the lovers is here. Listen, you need... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you you need to stay away, but you really need to be careful because this person might be sneaky. They might try to lure you in. This is just too many. They might try to lure you in, you know, making pretend that they're pregnant. You know, this person is sneaky. This person is demonic. Why is the lovers here? Five of Pentacles. Listen, Five of Pentacles is feeling regret. You are going to regret. If you step foot in this demonic energy, you are going to regret. Look at how sad this person is. Feeling lost, feeling regretful. You do not need to invest all your time only to discover that this person was not worth the investment. I'm going to do an oracle for you and we're going to wrap it up. Yeah, that was crazy. That was you really need to be careful, Aquarius. That's all I'm going to I'm going to say. Autumn, release the old and rest. Release it, let it go. Aquarius, you need to let it go before it ruins your life. Listen, thank you so much for being here. I hope that this was able to give you some clarity for the weekends and see you Monday. Take care.